Some of us are getting very sick and tired of trying to keep up with this 21st century lousy way of getting dressed and lousy way of putting all this different, different type of fashion on. This lousy way of making up your face and contouring this and contouring that. How in the world you got to contour your mouth, your eyebrow, your eyebrow, your, your body, your butt cheeks, you contour everything. This thing, this thing is just getting too much. All the celebrities, the celebrities want to be. All the fashion kings and queens and the fashion king and queens want to be. They're making people, poor people like, poor people like myself. They're making our lives miserable because it's getting very stressful and depressing trying to keep up with these things. Before people can get out and walk out like this, and people will count you among the living and the sound, the scene. But now you get out looking like this, people will look at you like you just, you just emerged from another planet and you are some kind of alien who don't belong here on earth. Wearing your normal hair is not normal, okay? Wearing the hair your mom born you wear is not normal. You have to go get a dead person, witchcraft stuff and put it on your head and then your eyelashes must be visible. So you got to go take some kind of synthetic stuff from a horse tail or from a dead human being. They put together and then they make adhesive and then you stick it on your eyeball because your eye, your eyelashes must be visible. And then they say you must contour your eye. They want to see the line your eyebrow forms against your face. So you must contour it. Because if they can't see the difference between your eyebrow and your face, you're not human being. Oh. Contour, contour. Oh, day you're taking a tour on your own face. Don't you get tired? You're taking a tour. And it's not even a fun one. Because you got to go spend thousands of dollars. To buy all kind of dirt to put on your face. You finish separating eh, your eyebrow from your regular skin. Now you can make the eyebrow stand out. Contouring. Oh, and they want you to blush so they can know the difference between your cheekbone. Hmm, your cheekbone from your face. So you should put something so the people who matter... Can tell the difference between your cheekbone and the rest of your face. Where is your cheekbone sitting at? They are not smart enough to know where your cheekbone is at, so you should highlight it as well. Uh huh. It's called it's called contouring. You contour the bridge of your nose so they can tell the difference. Then in the middle, got to be kind of shiny so they can actually see the definition there. Hmm? I got to stop falling down because it can't, maybe my skin can't keep up. Hmm? Contouring. Mm-hmm. Contouring. And then after you do that, they expect you to somewhat blend it. How do you blend this kind of colorful disaster here? Everything must have shape. Give it shape. They say volume. Oh, when you step out there, they want to know that you are a human being. They can see your face and program it. Mentally, as human being, until your face got depth and meaning to it, you must help them recognize who you are, where your eyeball starts and where it ends will make you look more like a person. You must look like this. And they don't know where your lip at. You, you, you don't know. They, they can't tell where your lip at until you contour your lip as well. So, you contour your lip. This is how you must look to go out there for people to tell that you are a human being. You have to wear so much 
Christmas jewelries, you have to be highly fashion. Be more like the celebrity and you will fit in better. Yes. For your fellow mankind to recognize you as one of them, you have to look like this. You have to, I mean, when you come out, they should see fashion. They should, you just can't come out looking like you just pop out of your mama anymore. You have to have big, lousy uh, uh, jewelry all on your arms. Both arms, not just one. You have to come out and, and this is how you express the 21st century beauty. When you want to express the 21st century beauty, think of Halloween. Okay? You, you know what I mean? This this is this is painful though. This is painful because to look like this, it takes a lot of money. You know what I mean? You can't go out looking like this with cheap makeup. You know, you got to switch up the hair. You got to switch up the look. You can't cover up too much and all this stuff. This is an abomination. You see this right here? You can't come out looking like this. You have to cover this. This is an abomination. The first one, that was different. Like you gotta change your look every day to fit in. You see? You have to wear what they're making for you to wear. You can't just come out with your normal self. You have to wear what they see on the market. What they are familiar with. Okay, they're not familiar with you as a normal human being just coming out with the same with 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 a with a old natural look. You can't come out looking natural. This is what they call natural. You gotta be oh my goodness, don't try it. Either like this or or even like this, because you can't just come out and not wear something they see on the market. You always have to wear something that's on the market. That's the only thing that appears normal to them. Like I say, I'm advising you, I'm advising you. All you celebrities want to be top fashion kings and queens want to be, I'm advising you. You have to do what you ought to do so the people can recognize you as, as one of their kind, human being. Human being, okay? <laughs> That's why I'm not even married because I'm I, I can't I can't afford to buy all this fancy fancy makeup dandy people can be putting on. Yeah? If you can't tell where my eyebrow is, that's your business now. That's your business. But I got one. You should look closely. If you wasn't wearing BB uh, eyelashes and you wasn't contouring everything and putting shadows in your eye, you will be able to see your, new, your normal human being. But you got all these things here on your face like this. How will you see your normal human being? Like right now, I can't even see myself go inside the camera here. Oh, and they love when you wear multicolor hair, especially the blonde looking hair and the red hair. You put all of that on your head, make some fall to your eyes and just, oh, you do this right here, you will be in Hollywood in no time. You will win America's Got Talent for no, without doing anything. They will just see your picture and give you the trophy. They say, see, this is the 21st century look right here. You nailed it. You look like this, you nailed it. But you see, that's exactly what my problem is. I can't go out looking my normal self for people to look at me and say, that's a beautiful woman. That's a beautiful woman. I have to show them where my everything is on my face for them to for them to recognize me as human being. Otherwise, I'm some kind of for 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 from some kind of alien from outer space. I'm not from here. I'm not one of them. So, <laughs> for those of you who care much about fitting in in the 21st century look of all the divas, the fashion kings and queens, the celebrities. This is this, this, this what you have to do. Spend all your money. Spend it. Spend it. Uncle Sam will give it back to you. Spend it. If you like it, give me some.